Hello, 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 and welcome back to another tutorial with me, Gwent Gamer. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make this really simple bubble elevator with a multi-floor selector. I recently made this bubble elevator in Bedrock Edition and assumed that it would work just fine on Java. However, there are a few subtle differences, and so you need to make a couple of changes to your bubble elevator if you would like it to work in Java. Also, if you're looking for this in Bedrock Edition, then please check the description where I've left a link to the other design. Before we build this, I'm going to show you how it works, and there are two variants to this. The one that I've built in Bedrock is this one. It has an eight selector panel, so you can build up to nine stories tall, so you'll have the ground floor plus eight floors on top. Or you can even do a lectern version, which has a lot more floors, up to 15 or 16 floors, I believe. So I'm going to be showing you how to build this one today. However, you can change it out to the lectern version very simply um, just by by doing this instead of instead of this. So how does this work? Well, you walk up to your selector panel and you choose which floor you want to get off on. We want to get off on floor two. So that should take us up to this floor right here. And all you do is you walk in and here we are. We are at floor two. Then to get back down, you just drop down your down shaft and you end up back on the ground floor. And then just to show you one more floor to make sure that it does actually work, we'll go up to floor six. And again, all we'll do is we'll jump in here. We'll go all the way up here. And when we get out, we should be at floor six. There we go. And then just drop back down. I believe that any tutorial that I make should be accessible to anybody that wants to make it, no matter how good you are at redstone. And so with that in mind, the redstone for this is incredibly simple. So the way this works with a lectern is you'll just have a book. It will have 28 pages in and every other page will be a different floor. So if we wanted to go to floor 10, you'll see that some of the repeaters are turned off. And so that's how you select which floor you want to go up to. So we'll start with the dimensions. The total area for the eight tall version of this is at nine blocks wide by six blocks deep. So really, really compact. And to make this first tower, the materials you will need are in this chest. Take a good look at this and feel free to write it somewhere in the comments so that you can tell other people just how many blocks they're going to need. Um, ultimately, we're going to need a bunch of building blocks. This can vary. We'll need a bunch of kelp. Again, this figure can vary. We'll also need a whole bunch of observers. Um, again, this can vary. So these amounts are not specific. Um, it depends on how many floors you do and how tall your floors are. The things that are a constant for the eight story version, at least, are as follows. You will only need one comparator. You'll need seven redstone repeaters. You'll need 28 signs and they can be any type of sign you want. And 28 is the minimum you will need for eight floors. You'll need one piece of soul sand, at least seven dispensers. You'll need eight pieces of redstone dust. And again, if you want to do the taller version, then you'll need more and an item frame and your selector. Now you can have some lighting blocks, fence gates instead of signs if you want to, and you're going to need at least seven water buckets for the eight story version of this. I've included an extra two here just to create water sources as we go. Okay, so we're going to start by building a nine by six base. Okay, now we've got that in place. What we're going to need to do next is pop in our elevator shafts. So we're going to come one in from the edge here and just pop down um, whatever building block you want. This is going to be the entrance to your elevator. You can come up three blocks, you can come up two blocks, you can come up four blocks. However tall you want to make this, you can make it that tall. So you don't need to stick to what I'm doing here. You could go up like, I don't know, five blocks for your first floor. And then you would have something uh, like this. It works exactly the same. So don't need to panic about how tall your floors are. It just means you'll need more signs. Then we're going to come around to the back. We're going to place in the back of our elevator shafts right here. And I like to place in a light right there in the middle, which will brighten up our floors as we go. So we're going to need to do something like that. And then you just need to build up this one right here. And you're going to do this up to as many floors as you want. I'm just going to do probably about three or four floors um, just to demonstrate this. Then I'm just going to build in some floors so we can see the difference in layers. OK, so at this point, you should have something that looks a little bit like this, but yours may be a lot taller than this one. At this point, we're going to place in our dispensers. Now, this is easier in creative mode, but you can do this just as easily in uh, survival by just towering up. 
you're going to place each of these dispensers at floor level on the floors that you're going to want to go to. Just like this. Now, you don't actually need one of these for the very top floor. So you'll notice up here on this one, I don't have a dispenser on this one. And that's fine. This dispenser is the one that gets you up to this floor. Now that our dispensers are in place, we can add in our signs. We're going to place these on the front of your elevator shaft. Just like that. Really simple. Then on the bottom floor, you're going to come up one, two, three blocks and place a sign right there on that third block. So for this next part, we're going to be placing in our water and it's completely up to you how you decide to do this. You can either just place in water source blocks all the way up like this, or you can go right to the top, place a water source up there, let it drop down, and then you can do the kelp thing and make all of the, the blocks water sources. I'm going to do it the simple way <laughs> um, because I'm in creative, but in survival, I'm sure the kelp method will probably work a little bit easier for you. So we're going to do this all the way up to the very top. Now, I can't overemphasize how important this next step is, so make sure you pay attention. You're going to go to every floor that you have a dispenser on, and you're going to place a block right in front of that dispenser by shift clicking and then right click on the dispenser. Do that for every single floor that you have a dispenser on. You're not going to want to do it up here on the top floor where there's no dispenser. So please leave this as a water source block. I can guarantee you there will be people who do this wrong, even though I've really emphasized the point. This is the most important part of this design. The next step is to break this bottom block right here, right on the ground floor and place in your soul sand. OK, so up next, we're going to be making our selector panel. Now, remember, you can use the eight story method or the 15 story method. It's completely up to you. But today I'm using the eight story method. So if you're building the eight or less story version of this, you're going to want to come out uh, three blocks from the side of your elevator and build up three blocks just like that. Then you're going to place your item frame right there on that middle block. You may also want to put signs all the way around that say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. However, you can just label these floors like, I don't know, like um, shop, house, apartments, red apartment. You know, you can you can label your floors whatever you want. Then you're going to want to place just any item in here. I like to use the redstone torch because it has like a clear center and then the torch points to the different floors as you turn it. So once you've got this in place, we're going to go around to the back and place a block right there. You're going to place another two blocks in front of that and you're going to place a block there. Then we're going to get our comparator, the only one that you have. So that goes right there. And then we place a piece of redstone dust right there. Now we're going to come across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks. And we're going to do that just like that. So you're going to have two rows of seven blocks. We're going to place redstone dust all the way across this back row right here. And then we're going to get our repeaters and place those in front of those blocks. And at this point, I've actually realized I've built this <laughs> slightly out of sync. So um, there we go. <laughs> that's the dimensions. Uh, that's why I had the overhanging block right there. Uh, so we're going to need one more piece right there. There we go. So we should have seven repeaters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one doesn't have a repeater in front of it. So remember that. Now we're going to get our observers and we're going to build on top of our repeaters just like this for the amount of floors you have. Now, remember, I've only got four stories here, including the ground floor. So I'm not going to need all of these observers for this example, but I've popped them in here just so you'd see how it would line up for a taller building. Now, this is going to be linked up to floor number one. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab an observer just like that. And we're going to do a really simple observer line that comes here into the side of this dispenser. Then we're going to do the same thing for the next floor. We're going to come up to the same level as this dispenser. We're going to place an observer into the side of that one. And then we're going to place a block here, which will power that dispenser. From there on, it's plain sailing. And I'm going to come over to this one to show you how you would go forward from that point. So after you've done the first two dispensers, it gets a lot easier. You'll be able to just power straight into the dispenser on all of these by uh, coming back on yourself and just going straight into the back of the dispensers. 
And unbelievably enough, that's it for the redstone. The very last thing we're going to do is come around to the front, break out the blocks that we placed in earlier, right click on the dispenser and place a bucket of water right there. Then do the same again for this floor and do it all the way up to the top. One more thing to note is when you're placing your water buckets into the dispensers, make sure that the selector is on floor one. Again, that's really, really important. And there you have it, folks. One fully working multi-story bubble elevator. To show this is working, we're going to go up to floor three, which should take us right up to the very top. So if we jump in, up we go. Here we are at floor number three. Perfect. I hope that's helped you. If it has, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Gwent Gamer. Goodbye. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go.